Ryan, your reflections on tonight's superb 5 0 win against Bishop's Cleef? Yeah, I think it's a, you know, obviously a big night for the boys. It's a um, new experience, new atmosphere, new ground, new surroundings. Uh, I think they dealt with it really well. Started the game well. Um, told them, you know, people say play the occasion, um, don't play the occasion, play the game. But you can't get away from the occasion. It is what it is. Um, and I think they dealt with that really well. And it was a decent showing by the Yellow Army you know, tonight, 173 in attendance. Okay, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Um, no, good turnout and the boys thoroughly enjoyed it. And to be fair, they've put on a, you know, a good performance um, and hopefully you know, we get through the next round and we get another home draw. Um, they'll come back and you know, a few more will add to that. It was end-to-end -end stuff at, at the beginning of that game, but as the game settled, settled it seemed to be that your, your team kind of got, took control and got a stranglehold of the game. Yeah, yeah it's important we start well. Um, the patterns of games, any game you play, first 10 minutes, you, you don't know the pattern of the game. Both teams are at it um, and it's who really wins that battle and creates that first chance and that first opportunity, um, which I think we've done, but obviously didn't take that chance. Um, and then to be fair, I think they had a half chance and it's you know a little bit nervy, but then once we got one, we got two, we got three and took over and controlled the game. To be 4-0 up at half-time makes it, I don't know, is it, is it an easy half-time team talk or is it a difficult one? Because obviously you're asking for more of the same, but actually you don't want your team to be complacent, do you? Well, that's exactly it. I think their energy first half was outstanding. They put them to bed early and I think that was it. Um, our work rate was a lot higher than theirs. Uh, we were a lot more intense and a lot more on the front foot. Um, that ruthlessness, if you like, in the first half really paid off. Um, it is a hard team talk. It's very much, you know calm heads you know settle yourself go out second half make sure you start the first 10 minutes well um, and don't let them in the game and that's what we've done and then took over a little bit and obviously then the fifth came now step up in class for the first round proper with the trip to Oxford United away hard, hard draw um, there's no getting away from that it's uh yeah, it isn't going to be nice. I don't, you know, hopefully it'll be played at Oxford United's ground, which you know, be a good occasion for the boys. Um, but what I gather, uh, they're a very strong youth academy at the moment, um, and they're doing very well. But saying that, it's uh, you know, anything can happen in the cup, and the way the boys are playing, it's certainly something that you know we'll be trying to um, obviously get a result and put in a good performance for the football club. Well, thank you for joining us, Ron, and congratulations on an excellent result tonight. And hopefully, it will be a fantastic weekend for all of United's teams in Cup action this weekend. Cheers, Tom.